Hebrews 13 15. It said, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifices of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips. You must become very skillful in talking to God. One of the greatest power of priesthood is utterance. You must know what to tell God. And that's why sometimes you study the word. See, go and read the Bible. See the way the prophets of old spoke about God. Who is like unto thee, O God? There's none beside thee. Fearful in holiness. Glorious in praise. Doing wonders. Hallelujah. The guys, they are talking and you are wondering how did they, they are so poetic in their communication. Because they, they are deliberate about what they say to God. They don't just talk haphazardly. They speak from the place of gratitude. So much so that it imparts their utterance. And the man is talking is like honey from his lips. Because of the way he can coin the word. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? And you, you are how, how do you compare God to light? That's praise. They know how to give glory to Him. And as God hears it, He is moved because He loves it. He said, All things were created for thy pleasure. And one of the ways you give Him pleasure, tell Him sweet things. Some men become skillful when they start wooing a woman. You are the sugar in my tea, you are the only honey that is in my life. But when they come to talk to God, uh, Heavenly Father, we give you glory. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you see your husband, oh honey, how are you doing? You, you are saying sweet things. Even your voice changes. But when you come to God, Lord, uh, thank you. We are grateful for all that you have done. Praise your name. <laughs> be skillful, be poetic, be deliberate. See, look for the best words. Use them to glorify God. Use them. Let it become a deep intercourse and romance. So much so that it's sacred. That whenever you speak, God knows it's your voice. Why do you think he loved David so much? The man was a master. He was like a cunning artificial. He knew what to say and God will move. When David starts talking, God moves. And he said, it's the apple of my heart. I love this man. This man, I love him. When God speaks to David, he says, Once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard. How did you hear twice? Because his word is sweet to his hearing. He pays attention to obey. And when God hears such people, he's moved.